Good morning, Strawberry, and a very beautiful one it is. <laughs> right as raspberries. Huh? Wow. Looks like the marketplace is off to a great start. This is going to be wonderful. Oh, I just hope it's quick. Remember, two weeks, two weeks! My next crop of very bitty produce will be ready to harvest in just two weeks. This marketplace has got to go up, 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 or there won't be any place to put my peaches. Lay out my lemons, keep my carrots. We're doing the best we can. Everybody calm down. I know the deadline is tight, but I've worked out a schedule. If we follow this, we'll be finished in two weeks. No problem. We can do that. No Consider problem. Consider it done. Don't worry, Berry Can Bloom. We'll be ready when you are. Oh, thank you, thank you. Gotta get back to caring for my corn, pruning my peas, weeding my watermelons, nurturing my nectarines. Oh. Well then, you have all your materials? Well, I could use those designs for your apartment on the second floor. Oh, I'll get to those today. And maybe some, oh, watch it, extra hands to help put up the frame this afternoon. Hmm, I'll round up the girls. See if they can spare a couple of hours after lunch. Thank you, Strawberry. Oh, Plum! Ugh. Oh. Plum? On vacation? I didn't know she was going on vacation. Lemon has gone traveling? Oh. Orange's store is closed. Please come back another time. Gone fishing? Blueberry's never been fishing in her life. Oh, muffin crumbs. This is awfully odd. <laughs> come on, Custard. <laughs> this isn't playtime, huh? Cupcake, please. I have work to do. <laughs> so, what do you think of this for my dream bedroom custard? Huh? Oh, you're right. There's something I forgot. I've always wanted a little shelf behind my bed. You know, to keep a glass of water, a book, and my phone. Oh, and my dream bedroom would have a skylight above the bed. Oh, I would wish on shooting stars as I drift off to sleep. And built-in drawers with the smallest drawer on top for socks and tights, and the largest drawer on the bottom for, you know, my sweaters. <gasps> no, what? What? What about your vacation and your travels and uh, fishing? Vacation? Pickled pineapples. Have you flipped your flop? We've yes. got a marketplace to build. Hold on, but you, you closed your stores so... <laughs> <laughs> so we can help you, silly. You, you did that for me? Of course. Well, you want to help? That's what friends are for. You. Why don't we head over to the building site and get started? have it mostly under control, but they do need extra hands to put up the frame. How exciting! Putting up the frame! And after that, what can we do? Yes, what can we do? Strawberry, we won't be ready to put up the frame until after lunch, but may I show you the grout colors for the tiles? Uh, sure, um, just, uh... We can help. I'm great at grout. I'm a perfect painter. I could alphabetize supplies. And could you confirm the height of the fruit stall, Strawberry? Sure, I... Oh, are those the plans for the upstairs apartment? Oh, uh, not quite finished yet, Barry Kimbell. <gasps> the upstairs apartment? We'll work on that. That'll be our project. Oh, uh, really? Um, oh, okay. That'd be a big help, sure. But I haven't finished the, um, designs. We know what you love, Strawberry. Yeah. You want a skylight, right? How did you know that? Don't worry, Strawberry. We'll run every idea by you. What do you say? Well, all right. That's so nice of you to offer. Our pleasure. Come on.
on, girls. Let's get going. <laughs> Great bloomin' butter beans! You aren't supposed to be ripe yet. I told Strawberry two weeks! Oh, no, no! The marketplace isn't ready yet! There's no place to put all of you until it's finished! What will I do? Oh, no! 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 Water bottles. Oh, I've got to find some place to hide this stuff before Strawberry finds out. Ooh. But where will she put her books? She can come here to read. I'll find a place. Hey, I keep hearing a creaking sound. Oh, the only thing I hear is the pitiful wails of my poor ideas as they're shot down. Guess I'm just hearing things. She'll need a vanity for doing her hair. Like I said, there isn't room. Where will she put all her scarves? There could be a shelf in the wardrobe. One can't have too many books. Okay, so we all agree we want Strawberry's bedroom to have a special scent. Absolutely! But as far as the other ideas, Blueberry wants built-in bookshelves. Lemon believes a vanity is a must. Plum, you want her to have a dance bar. Which will take an entire wall. But where will she do her morning stretching? In your big wardrobe that'll take up half the room? Hey, just saying. Now, we promised we would run our plans past Strawberry. So tomorrow, let's each present our ideas and let her decide. What you think? Brilliant! Great idea. Perfect. Why didn't I think of that? Terrific. Well, then, meeting adjourned. So, who's for tea? Oh, I am, thanks. Blueberry? Um, do you have any raspberry? I'll take lemon. Mmm, orange. Plum, please. Nothing tops plum tea. Long as it has a squeeze of lemon. <laughs> Just hearing things. Oh! <laughs> oh! Oh well. If life gives you pineapples, make pineapple. Um, pineapple. Oh, pineapple upside down and sideways cake. Woodsy for Strawberry's bedroom. Need more floral. Ah! <gasps> I'm not just hearing things. No, I'm seeing things. <laughs> uh, onions? <laughs> How would these get in there?
Kangaroos, a collection of humorous short stories, fiction, by Patsy Von Schlagopeck. That's certainly an unwieldy name. Uh, what does unwieldy mean, Blueberry? It means difficult to handle, maybe because of size or shape. Like that armoire and vanity? Huh? But, but, she has to have an armoire. But she has to have a vanity. I know, it's just that you left me the smallest wall for my ballet bar. But it's perfect, Plum. It is? Well, I was thinking, do you think I could use the bar to hang some silky scarves on just to show Strawberry what else she could use it for? Okay, girls, I've got it. The perfect scent for Strawberry's dream bedroom. Uh, but wait, I've got the perfect scent. Here's mine. What about my perfume? But Strawberry said she loved my orange Aura Room fragrance. She said she absolutely adored my plumicious pleasing perfume. She definitely okayed my Berry Bonnie Blueberry Bedroom Beautifier. But she okayed my Luscious Lemon Home Aromaizer. <laughs> Orange aura stuck to my vanity. It was supposed to be lemony light white. It's okay, lemon. You know, orange really goes better with my bedspread palette anyway. <gasps> my wallpaper! Oh, that's nice, Blueberry. Thank you. I can't smell my fragrance. Oh no, what have we done? Getting a little powerful in here. Let's take a break. Break? Let's evacuate. Give it a chance to unscent. Ew! What a smell! Whoa, whoa, Ugh, whoa! That is rich. Let me out of here. In bloom. Looking forward to that big harvest in two weeks, huh? <laughs> We're right on schedule. Oh, Berry and Bill. I was thinking, what a shame. What a very big shame. What do you mean? Well, it's just if the marketplace could be finished by, oh, let's say, tomorrow, I could submit a photo of it to Better Berry Bitty Buildings Digest for their Best Built Bitty Building of the Year Award. You would be a shoe in the Best Built Bitty Building Award? Whoa. Well, that's bigger than the Plasterer Prize and the Tyler's Trophy put together. Winning that would be such an honor for the crew. And for the construction boss in charge. All right, Berrykins, listen up. We have a little change in schedule. And you're gonna love it. <laughs> Kiwi fruit, none finer. Now, just stay there until tomorrow and you'll have your very own display in the marketplace. Wow, it's almost all done. Strawberry, looking great, huh? We're down to the wire. But you don't have to work so hard. You're way ahead of schedule. Oh, nothing doing, Strawberry. We're going for the gold. <gasps> Wait! I brought you all some pineapple upside down, Berry. Are you ready, Strawberry? Ready for what? Wait and see. <laughs> okay, just a few more steps. Almost there. <laughs> Just love it! Wow, it's, uh, incredible. Oh, what a pretty bedspread. 
And I love having a book. I mean, lots of books, right by the bed. And what a great vanity. I never would have thought of that. <sighs> well, I guess I'll have to get more outfits to fit in this wardrobe. <laughs> oh, what an original lampshade. Orange made it. Oh, and your exercise bar, Plum. I'll be sure to get my exercise first thing. And what an unusual room fragrance. Uh, but, but which fragrance do you like best? All I smell is kiwi, which is quite... Uh, refreshing. Kiwi? Hmm. What's the matter, Strawberry? Oh, you didn't change your mind about this skylight, did you? Oh, because we can get rid of it. Or move it. Oh, no. It's just you've all done so much work for me. Of course, Strawberry. Anything to make you happy. Well, we'll leave you to enjoy. Strawberry. I put them there. I just didn't want to let anyone down. How would you let us down? I was wrong about the harvest. It won't be ready in two weeks. Well, that's okay. We can wait. It's ready now. No problem. We can now? <gasps> Colliding kiwis. We'd better get busy. This marketplace has to be open tomorrow. We're on it. Now let's get a move on. Clean up these kiwis. We're going to have this place ready at dawn. Good evening, Princess Berrykin. And what an evening it is. I heard about Berrykin Bloom's early harvest. Is there anything I could do to help? Oh, thank you, Princess. You could help me take these sandwiches over to the marketplace for the night crew. If only Berrykin Bloom could have expressed his needs from the start. Yes, but he was afraid to disappoint and... Oh, um, before you go, perhaps you could help me by eating some pineapple upside down and sideways cake. Oh, I am sorry, but I don't care for pineapple. But knowing you did something so thoughtful is sweets enough. That was a very gracious way to be honest, Princess. Hmm, I better call the girls over here for a pineapple party. Lovely idea. <laughs> what I wanted. Well, we're glad you finally did. Really? Absolutely. It's your bedroom. We just want you to be happy in it. I am. I really am. Oh, we have to, we have to... Uh, we forgot something. 
Oh, uh, another room fragrance? Maybe... Oh, strawberry scent. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> <laughs> A place to put down your ideas for the Marketplace's grand opening celebration. <gasps> oh, muffin crumbs! I forgot about the grand opening! Custard, cupcake, it's gonna be a long night. Keep them coming, Apple! <coughs> and... <coughs> we... Oh, here you go. Are... Uh, done! Good morning, Strawberry. Hi, Apple. Well, what do you have today that's fresh and exciting? Somebody thinks it's time to change the menu at the cafe. Time to fire up the flavor, notch up the nachos, spice up the spice, dial up the delish. Meaning she wants to fix something that isn't broken. Well, as I always say, it's good to find new ways of doing things. Shows you take pride in your work. Barry Can Bloom has just delivered his crop of chilies. A hybrid I call the hot and not. Crossed half a jalapeno with a sun-sweet sugar plum and a hint of mint. Been growing them for years. I sort of like them, uh, but I don't imagine anyone else will. Mmm, <laughs> they look beautiful and smell great. As much as I don't like to agree with my sister, she's right. I use them to make my hot and not chili sauce. Oh, what do you think? Mmm, that is the best chili sauce ever. We have to have it at the cafe. That's twice in one day I've agreed with her. I'm starting to get worried. It's wonderful, Barrick and Bloom. What's your secret? <laughs> no secret, really. I follow three simple rules. You can't rush. Everything takes time. Never give up. There's a solution for every problem. And always add a little loving care. Any job worth doing is worth doing well. Got a text message on my phone, but it says it's for you, Barry Can Bloom. It's from... Don't, don't tell me. When it's this time of year, I know who it's from. Tell them I brought you here. I left town, out of the country. Not expected back for a year. Or, or ten. Wait, he sent you a video. <laughs> who is this guy? <sighs> my cousin, Bertram. Boom! Where are you, cuz? I tried every number in Berry Bitty City. This time of year, I bury my phone in the bottom of a flower pot. Hey, you didn't bury your phone in the bottom of a flower pot again, did you? Ha, you know it's that time of year. What's he talking about? Uh, the jelly sauce contest at the Big Berry County Fair. Hope you're not entering the contest. You know I'll win the golden chili again. <laughs> hey, just because we're cousins, I thought I'd give you a preview. This year, I've cooked my best batch yet, using my most powerful peppers. Looky, looky. <laughs> Ready for a taste test, my little friend? I'll just give him a drip of a drop to warm up the palate, you see. Don't try this at home, eh? He's a trained professional. <laughs> Let's see you top that, cuz. <laughs> oh, sometimes he makes me so angry, I could just, just... <sighs> Do forgive me. Great galloping gooseberries. I've never seen him so upset. Cousin Bertram's been getting the best of me since, well, as long as I can remember. When I entered the first hot sauce contest, well, oh, he's won the golden chili every year. Oh, that is so, so 
Wrong! Right! Exactly! Oh, you don't need a gold medal to prove how good a chili sauce cook you are. Oh, thank you, my dear. But it wouldn't hurt. I mean, fine, sure, a medal isn't everything. But it's something, and that's better than nothing. And it'd be the perfect way to show up that... that... Ugh, cousin of yours! Sour's right. There's no reason you can't beat Bert. Uh, yes, but really, I... I couldn't. It just isn't my... my... my style. Style? When I was faced with making eight dozen rhubarb trifles in one night, did I say, it just isn't my style? When my souffle deflated like a flat tire, did I climb under the covers and pull the sheet over my head? No! I say, enter that contest and beat them! Yeah! <laughs> you can oh, my it. Dear. I know it! <laughs> I thank you, but really, it just isn't what I do. Maybe Barry Can Bloom should do what's comfortable for him. Of course he should. And that means he's got to win that contest. This year, the name Barry Can Bloom will mean hot sauce. Yes? Why, yes! This year is my year! To the Chili Patch! And victory! Victory! <laughs> That's the spirit! Don't let anything hold you back! Hmm. Berry Can Bloom, you're going to have the hottest chili sauce that ever was. With this recipe Apple and I have cooked up, you'll flambe that bully birdie once and for all. How are those new chili peppers coming along? Oh, very nearly there, my dears. I call this one the Hoppin' Poppin'. Just a drop of Bloom's very best plant food. Careful now, there, Barry. <laughs> Oh, yes. That's what we want to see. Are we ready for a taste test? Absolutely. Volunteers! Just try a drop, okay? Give it a moment. The Hoppin' Poppin' Chili Pepper has a delayed reaction. doesn't know it yet. Greetings, cuz! I thought you might like to see how things are going here. Behold, my latest creation! <laughs> Let's see you top that! <laughs> there's hot and there's hot and... Hot. You'll just have to make yours even hotter. More peppers, Barry Can Bloom, the hottest you have.
that isn't hot sauce. It's rocket fuel. There's no way I could compete with him. How does he do it? Bertram? I don't know. He wins. He always wins. <sighs> There's no use going on. Wait, wait. Here, take a look at this. What am I supposed to look at? That. What is that stuff? Huh? So that's his trick. Ooh, I should have known. That, my dear, is the hottest chili pepper in the very bitty world. The big blue blazer. Wow. Do you have any? Can you grow one? No, unfortunately, no. It's a very rare species, a giant chili that only grows under conditions which cannot be duplicated in a garden. Well, if Bertram got one, they gotta grow somewhere. So, where? No one knows. It's said they need a speckle of sunlight, a dollop of dew, a whisper of wind, and a twist of morning mist. Speckle sunlight, dollop dew, wind whisper, twist mist. The meandering metal fits those conditions. Where exactly is this meandering meadow? You cross Dewdrop Dell, up Loganberry Hill, then a half a mile to the meadow. Sounds easy. If we get one of these big blue blazers, can you make it into hot sauce? Well, of course. But there's hardly time, my dear. The contest is only a day and a half away. How long would it take to get there and get back? If there's no bad weather, um, we can have it by noon tomorrow. Plenty of time. What do you say, Apple? Should we go for it? If it's a giant chili, we're gonna need some help bringing it back. I'll call Strawberry. <laughs> okay, Bloom. Have everything ready to go the second we bring the blue blazer back. Come on, Apple. Oh, it's lovely of them, but still hopeless. Bertram always finds a way to win. Are you sure this is what he wants? Absolutely. Keep his spirits up while we're gone, okay? How? I don't know. Distract him. Do that happiness thing you do. Let's go, go, go! We need to get to Loganberry Hill by nightfall. Are we ready for more? <laughs> Wonderful! But be sure to leave room for dessert. We have a fresh butterberry pie that's simply scrumptious. I understand what you're doing, my dear. And I am very grateful, but... Me? Oh, I'm just trying to feed you. And keep my mind off the contest. It's sweet of you, sweet. And it worked. I haven't thought at all about... Oh, where are you? You know you can't hide from me. Him. Hope you're not wasting time with the contest. <laughs> you don't stand a chance. Take a look at... Thought I'd turn that off. It hardly matters, my dear. <sighs> He's right, of course. I'll never win that contest. But Barrack and Bloom, what is it you always say? Never give up. I do say that, don't I? And I won't give up. There's still time, still hope. If our friends get back by noon tomorrow. According to your map, we ought to be there right about... Ah! There must be something wrong! The map doesn't show this! We can't climb down there! It'd take a week! What are we gonna do? Hmm. Strawberry? I'm thinking about what Barry Kim Bloom says. There's a solution for every problem. This lovely, and no way for Cousin What's-His-Name to intrude. A package? 
tips for me? Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> There's no hiding from me, cuz. Can you hear us? My new batch of hot sauce simmering on the stove. The sound of victory! <laughs> Big blue blazer. <laughs> oh boy, we're having fun now. Say, wanna go for a walk? No, uh oh, why not? It's too chilly outside. <laughs> It's amazing what you can do when you really try. But we gotta get going. I know, Strawberry. But give us this moment to feel proud of what we've accomplished. We did it. And we did it for Berrykin Bloom. Right. But we gotta get going. After the chili! Oh, no, no, no. Well, now what do we do? <gasps> we better not go out there. We have to find a way to... My, <sighs> what a predicament you have here. But I see you found the last blue blazer of the season. Still, it's not doing my cousin much good out here. Well, you don't need to worry. We'll take care of this. Oh, no. Let me help. I insist. What are you doing? Me. Oh, my! Did I do that? No! Oh, Tisk Tisk. What a shame. I've seen some low things in my day, but you are the lowest. You don't play fair, Barry Kim Bertram. No, I play to win. <laughs> Nearly noon. I'm sure they'll be here. It was an ambitious undertaking, my dear. I'd be very surprised if... There they are! You made it! You're back! And uh, the blue blazer? It's in the bottom of a gorge. In little pieces. But... but... what happened? Barry Ken Bertram! He destroyed the blue blazer! We're so sorry, Barry Ken Bloom. There's no cause to be, my dears. You tried your best, and that's all anyone can ask. I guess we better pack all this up. Yeah, we'll do it. It's the least we can do. What is that delicious aroma? Oh, another batch of hot and not sauce. I made it while I was waiting. Isn't that good? We're adding it to the cafe's menu. Have you ever entered this in the contest? Oh, goodness, no. It's not nearly as hot as the sauce Cousin Bertie makes. But it's delicious. <laughs> and what really matters is, it's yours. You know, she's right. Mm -mm, never considered it before. Uh, but uh, why not? We don't have much time, but we can get it there if we hurry. Well, now all we can do is wait to hear from the judges. Have you heard anything about the contest yet? 
Uh, no, but, uh, uh, no, my dear, uh, no. I hadn't thought about it, really, uh, until you just mentioned it. <laughs> Put it completely out of my mind. <laughs> hey, any word from the judges? <laughs> Not that I care, mind you. Uh, only curious. I came by to see if you've heard anything. Not yet, but we could get a call any second. It's them! Well, what do they say? How did Barry can... Blue? Where'd he go? He had to leave. Take the message. Oh, what did they say? No, 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 never mind. I don't want to know. I mean, of course I do. But I don't, and I do. <laughs> if you see what I mean. Bertie won't be happy about that. <laughs> he was disqualified for conduct unbecoming a chili grower. They said Barry Ken Bloom's saw showed great craftsmanship. A lot of time and effort went into it, and it was obviously made with great loving care. That's more than a sauce. It's you, Barry Ken Bloom. Really, my dear? I find myself speechless. I simply don't know what to say. Well, I do. I say, get busy. Start making more hot and not sauce. We put it on our very best bits page catalog, and we're already getting orders. Oh, no. Not again. No, it's from the contest judges. show is awesome! Just think, guys. If we like their dancing, and everyone at the dog show liked their dancing, people on the Berry web are gonna love their dancing. You want to post the video on your Berry Best Bits page? If it's okay with you, Plum. But... The music on this video is kind of hard to hear. Especially with all the barking. That's okay. I'll just use some other music instead. You can't use just any music. It has to match the dancing. Oh, yeah. I hadn't thought of that. Wait a minute. We happen to have our very own world-famous singer-composer right here in Berry Bitty City. I bet she'd be happy to write us a new song. <sighs> hmm. We love our queen. She's never mean. She's super clean. Like a big green bean. <laughs> oh, why is this so hard? Hiya, Cherry! Oh, hi, guys. Is everything okay? Sure. Except... No, it's horrible! I've been asked to write a special song to help the Queen of Barravania celebrate her reign. It should be easy, but it's so much pressure, I can't come up with anything! Oh, uh, maybe we shouldn't bother you then. No, no, that's okay. I need a break anyway. Maybe it'll help me clear my head. Well, if you're sure. See, I've got this Dance and Doggies video, and I want to post it to my Very Best Bits page, only the music's too quiet. So I was thinking that maybe you could compose a new song to go with it. Well, you just need the old song fully produced. I could do that, no prob. How about you guys give me some backup? Yeah! Love to!
hand it to you on the berry web, Apple. You can call it Dance Puppy Dance. Oh, super perfect. I'm gonna post it with the video right now. Thanks, Cherry. Happy to help. Good luck on your song for the queen. Oh, yeah. The queen. <sighs> oh, great queen. You're a ruling machine. You got style and taste. Like a fancy sardine. Oh. Well, there's the problem. I need fuel. I mean, even composers of the most important songs where important people were really, really counting on them had to eat. Oh, Queen, your rules are very best. Oh, my gosh, I'm so, so stressed. Still having trouble, huh? It should be easy. I mean, I write songs all the time. It's just... This is for the Queen of Baravania. She's dependent on me. We're talking about actual royalty. It's so much pressure, I can hardly concentrate. Guys, guys! You gotta see this. You aren't gonna believe it. Look, Dance Puppy Dance has gone viral. It's got like a perizillion hits and rising. I could listen to it all day long! Hey, what happened to our party? I can't wrap my next song while I'm listening to my last song. I need some peace and quiet. Oh, yeah, uh, the song for the Queen. Sorry, Cherry. I forgot. We won't make a peep. Cherry! <gasps> Cherry! Cherry! You aren't gonna believe this! Dance Puppy Dance just made it into the Berry Bitty City Top Pop Songs! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <sighs> ah, peace and quiet. I'm sorry we distracted you, Cherry. That's okay. It's nice and quiet here anyway. You've got to admit, though, it's pretty cool that everyone loves your song so much. I mean, isn't that what music is for anyway? Well, yeah, but right now I need a focus. How am I supposed to think up a new melody with that other one playing in my head all the time? I mean, you might think I've gone bananas, but it's almost like I can hear that song right now. Wait. I can hear it right now! I've created a musical monster! Cherry, wait! And we're on in five, four, three, two. Top of the charts to you, Mavis Maraschino here for another edition of Barry's Hits and Misses. I am out here in Barry Bitty City with the big scoop on the song sensation that's sweeping the Barry Bitty world. Dance, puppy, dance. Uh. Sorry, I've got to go and... Play your song on the radio? I, for one, cannot blame you one bit. Ooh, tantalizing timpani. What is the secret behind this mesmerizing musical masterpiece? <laughs> Look, I'm glad you all like the song, but... Like it? Raucous rhythms. Don't be modest, darling. We love it. Why, we can't get enough of it. Yes, I noticed that. Now, if you don't mind, could you please... Ask you another question? Why, of course! Stand up, get on Tell me, Cherry Jam, is this the hip way to move to your groove? If you won't dance lessons, go see Plum Pudding and leave me alone! Diss me discordantly. We're only talking about your song. <sighs> I don't want to talk about that song. I don't want to hear that. 
that song. In fact, all I want to do is go far, far away where I'll never hear it ever again. You saw it here first, Pop fans. Exclusive coverage of Cherry Jam boldly bashing her own hit tune. Could there be more to this than meets the eye and ear? <laughs> you bet your downbeats, darlings. And I'll bring it to you live, or my name isn't Mavis Maraschino. <sighs> yes, no boom boxes, no berry web. Nothing but peace and quiet. Oh, Queen of Berryvania, this song is to explain to ya that we've got Queenie Mania. We oh, hi, Berry Kim Bloom. Oh, you guys aren't gonna turn on the radio or anything, are you? Oh, no, my dear. You see, we've got work to do. There's no time for radios when the berries need picking. Oh, that's splendid, because I've got work to do, too. Oh, very well, my dear. You go on about your business, and we'll go on about ours. And hop, hip, hop, hoop, hop. Heep. Now, where hop, was I? Hop, hoop, oh, yeah. Oh, queen, our queen, fair ruler of our patch. From the very biggest berry to the littlest of the batch. Uh, how we praise your, your beauty. Beauty, yeah, that's it. How we praise your beauty and the fairness of your rule. Oh, queen of berry vein, yeah, you... Destroy it! Mavis Maraschino here with a startling development. Earlier this afternoon, I paid visit to Dance Puppy Dance's composer, Cherry Jam, when Cherry Cherry, quite contrary, painted quite the perplexing picture. I don't want to talk about that song. I don't want to hear that song. In fact, all I want to do is go far, far away where I'll never hear it ever again. Why would the pop princess poo-poo publicity at the peak of her popularity? Has she cracked under the pressure of her? Oh. oh. Hey, what's up, Maeve? Captivating crescendo. Who in the name of pop culture are you? I'm Kumquat Cool Dude from Very Big City. Kumquat Cool Dude? Oh, I'm from Very Big City, and I've certainly never heard of you. That's because I'm so far out on the cutting edge of style and taste that only the coolest of the people been allowed into my cool circle of coolosity. You sure you never heard of me? Oh, now I remember you, of course. Uh, Mr. Cool Dude and I go way back, <laughs> way, way back. So, uh, tell me, Kumquat, from one trendy pop culture expert to another, what do you think of this whole dance, puppy dance craze? The Cool Dude is here to tell you, dance, puppy dance is super lame. <gasps> As anybody who's truly cool will tell you, it's, uh, well, it's musically horrible. And cool, dude says, anyone who doesn't want to look like a total banana brain should just stop listening to it. How could that guy bash Cherry's song like that? So, if you want to be cool and, you know, sophisticated like me and Mavis, then by all means, turn off that song and never play it again! <clears throat> Yo, Big Mavis, am I right? Or am I right? Ah, uh, what? <laughs> However, did that horrid song become my ringtone? <laughs> of course you're right. There you go, folks. 
You heard it from Mavis herself. That song is crummy. So stop listening to it. Stop singing it and playing it in public. Stop dancing and stop whistling. What this town needs is some peace and quiet so I can write the Queen her song. Wait, what? Did I say the Queen song? Uh, what I meant was... Lahaina's Harmony, Cherry Jam. But why would Cherry do that? I have no idea why you would pull such a charade, Cherry Jam, but I assure you that we will not stop playing your hip masterpiece. Fine then, enjoy the song, cause it's the last song from me you'll ever hear. I'm never gonna write music again. What? <gasps> what? <laughs> I can't believe that Cherry is giving up music. If only we had kept it quiet. You're right, Orange, but it's just so catchy. It is a catchy song. And sure, we'd love to play it 24-7. And yes, we could all dance and whistle and hum along, and we'd never, ever get sick of it. Oh, 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 oh. But friendship comes before music. And if my friend needs me to stop listening to her super catchy song so she can compose a brand new super catchy song for the Queen of Baravania, well, I'm willing to do it. Oh, yes. <laughs> How about you, Berry Bitty City? Are you with me? Yeah! Yeah! yeah. No more dance, puppy dance! Do we promise? We, we promise. promise! All right then, from this moment forward, dance, puppy dance is banned from Berry Bitty City. May we never hear that wonderful tune again. Yeah! <laughs> playing anywhere. Perfect. It's time to talk to Cherry. Once she sees how everyone pitched in to keep things quiet for her, she's bound to start writing music again. Hi, American Bloom! Hmm, that's weird. American Bloom, is everything all right? <gasps> Oh, uh, hello, ladies. <laughs> it really is a lovely day, uh, so if you don't mind, I'll be on my way. Barrican Bloom. Dance, don't be scared. Dance, puppy, dance. <laughs> well, uh, imagine that. <laughs> However did the, uh, that thing get in there? <laughs> no, no, no! We <laughs> gotta get that berry. better. Nothing like a little nap to change your whole outlook. Maybe I'll finish writing the Queen's song after all. Oh, Queen, the land is so serene. Uh-huh. No. No! Anything but that song! Oh, you did it all right. How could you bring that song out here when you knew I didn't want to hear it? We're sorry, Cherry. Honest. Uh, we tried to keep it quiet. Oh, we really did. Can't you turn that thing off? <laughs> How do you turn it off? Don't be boom box. Don't any of these switches work? Who made this thing? 
the Queen of Berryvania? The Queen of Berryvania! Your Majesty, what an honor to receive you at my humble tour of us. To whatever do I owe this <clears throat> honor? Why, I've come to observe your progress on my royal song. Oh, uh, well, you see, the thing is that... The thing is, young lady, it's quite obvious that you finished it. I... I have? And I love it! Oh, well, actually, Your Majesty, I was working on another song. I mean, this one is for dancing. With a groovy melody like this, what difference does it make? Everyone, please let's put formality aside. Come join me as we get our bad seals down to the official royal song. <laughs> 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 You've got to admit, Cherry, this is one catchy tune. I guess. Sorry if I was kind of a grouch. You're right. I should be happy if people like my music. But seriously, you've got to let me have a break from it some of the time. Of course. And we're sorry we weren't respecting your space. After all, the Queen loves this song so much, you'll need to concentrate when she asks you to write another. You really know how to cheer a girl up. <laughs> how about a dance? Why, I thought you'd never ask. <laughs> Let's open every door, we're gonna explore and do the things we always wanted to do. I believe in you, you believe in me, we stick together like a family and we don't stop till we get to the top. We're on enough of the limelight. So I hope you don't mind, Strawberry, but the Berry Big City Bitty Games needs a band for the opening ceremony. They called me, but I suggested your band, and sent a tape. And they said yes! <laughs> There's so much to do. I have to pack. But what do I pack? Oh, uh, I'll need a jacket if it's cold. And shorts if it's hot. Galoshes if it rains. <laughs> T 
Take it easy, Raspberry. You don't even know when we're going. When are we going, Cherry? Tomorrow. <gasps> Tomorrow? There's so much to do. Wait, Wait for, for us! us! Wow. We're going to Berry Big City. That's a long way. <laughs> uh, uh how, how are we going to get there? Oh, I thought we'd just take my tour bus. Oh. Uh, how long will we be gone? A long time, I bet. <sighs> well, I better get packing. Me too. Are you coming, Orange? Yeah, right behind you. We'll be taking my bus to Berry Big City. Do you think it'll make the trip okay? Hmm. Well, if anybody can do it, it's probably me. <gasps> Wonderful! And could you do one more thing with the bus? Hmm. When do you need it? Tomorrow. Hmm. <gasps> Tomorrow? <laughs> There's so much to do. Where's my sprocket wrench? When we're a team, we can do anything. We're invincible. Let's make a plan. Together we can. We're invincible. Ah, strawberry. Would you have any of that marvelous mulberry pie? The very best pie in Berry Bitty City. <laughs> Why, thank you, Berry Kim Bloom. Right away. What is this? Don't tell me. You're rearranging the cafe? No. You're looking for a treasure. No, no. You're 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 going on a trip. Yes! <laughs> All the way to Very Big City! Oh, a magnificent metropolis. I haven't been there since. <gasps> what? <gasps> if you're there and I'm here, how will I get any pie? Oh! Uh that's a very good question. Hiya, Orange. What you doing? Where you going? And why? We're all going away on a long trip. <sighs> but what about us? Where will we get things like this? And that? And these? <gasps> Where will my customers go? Uh, we'll have to drive. Drive. We'll be we'll lost. Do. A critical matter indeed. What will happen to us, and what will happen to Berry Bitty City? There'll be no one to take care of my store. Or Lemon's Beauty Salon, Blueberry's Bookshop, Plum's Dance Studio, Cherry's Music Lessons, Strawberry's Cafe, anything! Maybe we can show the Berrykins how to run things while we're gone. Brilliant plan! We, the Berrykins, shall take charge! For duty, for honor, for Berry Bitty City! Yeah! 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 Don't forget the scent stems! My customers love them! Check. When do I give the facial? After you set out the magazines. You want to make the salon experience a pleasure. Got it. Pleasure. Now, Mud? Okay, I think you're ready to... Oh! Uh, oh, my! Oh! Oh! <gasps> Eric and Belle! What? Did I miss a spot? I think we're gonna need a little more practice. I'll have the tossed salad, please. Tossing the salad! Tossing the tossed salad! Oh, that was... Very good, but next time, don't forget the plate. Oh! Well, it's, uh, different. When reading aloud, you must create the proper mood for your listener. Yes, the mood. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes! 
Who put black pepper under B? I suppose I'll find the missing red pepper under R. Hmm. Pepper goes in the P section. And sweet basil does not go under S. It may be sweet, but it goes in B for basil, sweet or not. This isn't working. They're doing the best they can, but oh, there's no way I can leave them in charge of my store. What are you saying? I'm saying that I'll just have to stay here. The rest of us go on without you? I'm sorry, Strawberry. But Orange, we need you in the band. Maybe if you show the Berrykins exactly what they need to know to run your store while you're gone, I'm sure they could get it right next time. Oh, okay. Let's give it another try. There! <laughs> How's that? Hmm. Now then, let's see. Oh, would you look at that? Oh, uh, never mind. That's where it's supposed to be. Aha! No, I guess that does go there. All in all, it's more or less basically perfect. Yeah! <laughs> Phew! <laughs> now you can go on the trip with us. <laughs> Looks that way. Huh. Oh, Jerry! You made it a Strawberry and the Sweet Beats Band tour bus! <laughs> well, what do you think? Fantastic! Oh, oh American Bruce! It's beautiful! Well, I figured... If you're going to Berry Big City, why not go in style? Yeah! We're all packed. We were supposed to leave an hour ago. What's keeping her? She's just having a little trouble deciding what to pack. She'll be here any... Um... Minute... We're gonna need a bigger bus. I'm afraid there's not enough room for all of that, Orange. But I, I can't leave any of it behind. Uh, not even two dozen jars of assorted jams and jellies? Well, I could maybe take just one dozen. Your store's entire stock of tape, paper clips, and envelopes? Well... You never know when you're gonna need... Come on, girls. Let's get the rest of this loaded on the bus. Book of nursery rhymes that I. No! Not that one! Read this one! It's a lot better! Really? Well, uh, the case of the slinking, slinking slinker? Oh, my, <laughs> that sounds a bit <clears throat> frightening. But it's science! Oh, well, then. Once upon a time, there was a slinking slinker who. <laughs> Hold on. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, um, are we sure we wouldn't rather hear these quaint and charming little nursery rhymes? Slinking Slinker! Slinking Slinker! A slinking slinker who had long, sharp, glistening teeth and a growl as loud as a foghorn. Oh, this sounds dreadful. <laughs> <laughs> this will be so much fun! I can't believe we're actually going! Aren't you excited, Orange? 
orange? Is something wrong? Stop the bus! What is it? What's the matter? I just remembered I forgot to bring my tea. <laughs> tea? We can get some in very big city. Not my special blend. It, it's my own blend. Mine. My very own. I cannot get it anywhere else. I... I guess there's time to go back. And the slinky slinker slinked into the night, and nobody ever knew what happened to it, and that's all the end! Yay! Read it again! Read it again! No, no, no. It's past my... Uh, er, past your bedtime. Uh, come along now, come along. Oh, Off you go. Get to bed. Pleasant dreams. <laughs> Don't think about... about that awful slinking slinker. Hey! Ah! Is everything all right, Berrykin Bloom? All right? <laughs> How could it be all right with that slinking slinker slinking about? Slinking slinker? Mm, that doesn't sound good. <laughs> I should say, slinking slinkers are only the most terrifying creatures in existence. I read it in a science book. And you say there's one around here? Here, there, no telling where. That's how it is with slinking slinkers, you know. They slink. Well, I'm not scared. Why should I be afraid of a... Let's get Orange's tea so we can be on the road again. Oh, a slinking slinker. Oh, goodness me. I'm sure there's a simple expl... What was that? And th that? We have to do something. We must protect Berry Bitty City while the girls are gone. We promised. Let's keep this to ourselves. No need to alarm the whole city. Hmm. I have an idea. Oh, I almost couldn't find it. Those barricans have my store too organized. Come on, let's get going. Listen, a whole army of them. We must defend the city. Stop the bus! What now? I left the hose running in the garden. I think uh, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Well, that is the very best I could do with such short notice. Amazing! What is it? A slinking slinker snatcher. Watch. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I sort of thought so. Just a little farther. This is the last place the Slinker and Slinker was almost seen. Trap is set. Now what? Now we wait. It's very late. We don't want to wake the Berrykins. Let's be quiet. Oh, this sounds dreadful. It must be the slinking slinker. Shh. We don't want the Berrykins to think there's somebody slinking around. Yeah, but we're slinking around. What is this doing out here? Oh, see? I knew the Berrykins wouldn't put things away while we were gone. What is that? Looks like some kind of... <gasps> trap! Ooh, sounds like we caught a big one. <laughs> well, hey, these look a lot like... Strawberry shortcake! 
What are you doing here? Uh, we needed to come back? <sighs> to check on the city? Um, sort of. But the city is fine. That's why we built this trap. To protect Berry Bitty City from the Slinking Slinker. <laughs> the Slinking Slinker? That's just a story. <laughs> Did the baby parakins tell you it was real? Oh, oops. <laughs> I thought it was, and then when I heard, well, someone slinking. Oh, my. <laughs> that was just us, I'm afraid. <laughs> Guess I let my worries carry me away. Running your businesses and taking care of the city were harder than we thought, but we did our very best. Didn't you trust us, Strawberry? Oh, it wasn't that. It was... It was me. I kept finding excuses to come back. I guess I was sort of afraid to leave Berry Bitty City. Aw, you were afraid? You could have told us. Oh, we understand. I'm sorry, Orange. It's no fun to feel afraid. Does it help to know we'll all be there together? It does. You're not afraid to sing, are you? And you're not afraid to put on a costume and get up on stage? No, of course not. Berry Bitty City is a very wonderful place, and we'd never leave it for long. You know that, right? What if, instead of thinking about what we're leaving behind, Think of what's ahead. A great big adventure waiting for all of us. Yeah. Our band's first performance will be very amazing. I would never want to miss that. Uh, wait a minute, if you could. I have something for Orange. If ever I have occasion to travel from home, I always take this reminder of home with me. I'd like you to have it. It's Berry Bitty City. There's my house and my store. Oh, thanks. Thanks, everybody. I think I'm ready to go now. Come on, Sweet Beats. We can practice our song on the way. Each other down as long as we're together things will always turn around oh pardon me i didn't mean to interrupt hi jd bug no problem just rehearsing for this week's cafe cabaret can i get you something i was just wondering if i could bother you for a um cup of tea of course have a seat wherever you'd like what kind of tea are you in the mood for <sighs> Oh, something warm and comforting. Lemon or mint? Oh, dear. Oh, my. I can't decide. What do you think? Chamomile. <laughs> May I ask, you seem a little jumpy. Is anything wrong? I'm nervous. It's my cousins. Sadie Bug and Katie Bug? They just left a message on my phone that they're coming to visit for a whole week. And I'm gonna have to tell them they can't. Why not? My um, guest room, it's being repainted. Oh, they'll be so disappointed beside themselves. <laughs> I don't know how I'm gonna tell them. Oh my. Well, what if they stay with me here at the cafe? Oh, they'd put you through much too much trouble. I'd be thrilled to have house guests. It'd be fun. Are you sure? Really? I'm very sure. I have a book with tips on hostessing somewhere up here. Good. I want ideas on how to make them feel really welcome and special. We could make them gift bags. Oh, yeah, like little travel or, uh, you know, um, Overnight kits. Oh, I could even sew them. Here it is. Thanks, Blueberry. I could put a toothbrush, toothpaste, and bitty hand soaps inside. Wow, that would be very nice, Orange. 
the very best hostess. Take the guesswork out of having guests. At home, away from home. The first rule of being a hostess is making your guests feel comfortable. Comfortable? Oh, what else does it say? Um, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. Never embarrass them by pointing out that their ways of doing things are different from yours. So, if they sleep upside down, don't say anything? <laughs> guess so. <laughs> Their arrival should be a celebration. We could throw a tea party in their honor. Oh, we can have it in the cafe. I'll make a welcome banner. I'll help you. Thanks, Lemon. Watch out. Your guests will love it so much. Next thing you know, you'll have to open a hotel. <laughs> <laughs> All this for my cousins? Isn't it gonna be fun? Oh, but Strawberry, you've gone to so much trouble. You all have. Oh me, oh my, you even embroidered their gift bags. But that's what being a good hostess is all about, J.D. Bug. I'm enjoying this, really. But you don't even know if they'll end up staying very long. I thought they were staying for a week. Oh yes, but <laughs> oh, you never know what will happen. <laughs> Huh? <laughs> Katie Bug, Sadie Bug, it's uh, been too long. Likewise. What to eat? Oh, uh, I. Welcome to Very Bitty City. It's so nice to see you. Everyone, this is Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. Hi, Hi. 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 You'll be staying with me at my cafe. Can I help you with your bags? Sure. Knock yourself out. During the day, I'm sure you'll be visiting with your cousin, but after the cafe closes, I have a place fixed up for you upstairs. <laughs> Why would we visit J.D. Bug when we can hang out where the food is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, you're just joking, right? Your cousins sure are kidders, J.D. Bug. <laughs> yeah, kidders. Ooh, ooh, what did you get? Hey, I want that. Uh, not fair. Let me see yours. Yours is better. It is not. Is too. Hey, that's my favorite color. Is not. Yeah, huh? Is so. What? No straw? I beg your pardon? <laughs> A straw? That's wacky. Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> Give me. That's mine. But it's mine. No. Finders keepers. Oh, girls. <laughs> we don't use straws in a teacup. <laughs> Remember, a good hostess will tolerate the quirks of her guests. That's a quirk, or just bad manners. Bad manners, I'm afraid. My cousins are the worst of the worst. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sadie Bug, uh, Katie Bug! <laughs> Strawberry, I am so sorry. I don't think you're going to be able to tolerate their ways for very long. No, no, J.D. Bug. I volunteered to host them, and that's what I'm going to do. Hey, Strawberry! How's everything going with the twins? Uh, just... <laughs> Fine. Wow! Look at all the great stuff! I brought you a treat. Ooh, come here. Look at this. 
Well, I'm off to deliver the rest of these. See you later. Thanks again. You're welcome. Girls? <gasps> Hi, girls. How's the dance number coming? Almost ready for this week's Cafe Cabaret. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Uh, we can dance. Watch. We're really good. Huh? at your cabaret. Please! <laughs> Don't encourage them. <laughs> so, how's it going, being the perfect hostess? Uh, well... Oh, oh, boy! You must be having a great time. Uh-huh. They must love the guest room the way you fixed it up for them. Well, they like my bedroom better. You gave them your bedroom? Uh, they sort of took it. But it's nice for me <laughs> to have a chance to sleep in the guest room. called How to Be the Very Best Guests. <gasps> Those are my cooking utensils. Please don't put them in the dirt. Ah, come on. What are we supposed to do? Yeah, we want to be sculptors. We're making art. <laughs> If you'd like something to eat, I'll fix it for you. But I'm going to have to ask you not to eat out of the refrigerator. <laughs> Please. Uh, this is a cafe. Like, where people eat stuff. Mm. And mm. that's what we're doing. Uh -huh. Huh? Mm. better in you. Nuh-uh. Uh-huh. Uh, girls, I really need to practice for Cafe Cabaret. It's an evening of entertainment I host in the cafe. It's in a couple of days. Oh, we'll help you. Testing. <sighs> Ugh. How do you turn this thing on? <laughs> Ooh, we are live. Hit it, Sadie Bug. Very best. Friends forever, a fur, a fur, a fur, a fur. Give me that. <laughs> Very best friends for forever. Forever. <laughs> we never let each other surprise of the performance before cabaret night, do we? Oh. She's totally got a point. Okay, from the top. La <laughs> oh, Mr. Longface, how are you? Uh, could I have a word, Miss Shortcake? Outside. Of course. So, what did you do with me? My guests aren't disturbing you, are they? Well, uh... I really came to see how you were holding up. Oh, 
That's very kind of you, Mr. Longface. Well, I was thinking you could probably do with a break from hostessing. Why not let me watch the cafe for the rest of the day and you take a breather at the pond or anywhere far away from here? And then... Oh, I couldn't. After all, they are my guests. You could. I insist. Mr. Longface, I don't know how I can thank you enough. <laughs> You'd better go now, while they're occupied. I'll keep them entertained. Good luck. The fragrance of the blooming flowers was carried by a warm, gentle breeze to the snout of the little rabbit, who knew at last spring had arrived. There was only one thing that kept the little rabbit from enjoying the calm peace of the meadow. I'm sorry, Custard. Pupcake. We'll finish the story later. I can't relax. I have a strange feeling that all is not right back at the cafe. I just feel like I better check on Mr. Longface and... and... those twins. <laughs> Sorry, Miss Shortcake. I tried to stop them, but they're, they're unstoppable. They buttered the floor. <laughs> buttered the floor? Why would a person butter a floor? <laughs> The cafe is closed. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we'll come back later and help you clean up. We got a little carried away. <laughs> oh, a little help here. Strawberries Cafe. Hope you're having a very nice day. Oh, hello, Princess Berrykin. Yes, they're cleaning everything up, doing a very good job. I can't believe those two left the juice taps running. I'll talk to you later, Princess. I came to help. Thank you, Blueberry. Strawberry, it's time you sent them packing. Who? You know who. Those house pests. How can I kick someone out that I invited? I mean, are they really that bad? I know you don't want to say anything bad about your guests, but sometimes it helps to confide in a friend. You know, let off some steam. <sighs> you know, you're right. I should confide in someone. So you see, girls, I do want you to stay here, and I want you to feel comfortable, but I want to feel comfortable too. Huh? Oh, <laughs> girls. Are you listening? So, I need you to be more considerate to me and to the customers. And I can help you with your manners, if you'll agree to listen. Listen, I've heard enough. So have I. Oh, have you ever heard such rudeness in your life? Huh? We can tell when we aren't wanted. I don't know how staying with me would work. See, I just moved all my new clocks into the guest room. It's my clock winding room. Sorry. Oh, well, um, you could sleep on my floor. That is, uh, oh, if you know, <laughs> I didn't have all my dress patterns laid out just now. <sighs> oh, I'm really sorry. All my cousins are visiting right now. There's, uh, hundreds of them. I'm just, uh, full up. Uh, I'm leaving for vacation. Tonight. 
Uh, right, right now. Um, oh, we could house it. Oh, no. I mean, you see, the floor just got polished. I can't walk on it. <laughs> yeah. Very bitty city is so rude. Yeah, rude like those people in Gladiola Glen. And the folks in Melonville. Rude, rude, rude. Oh, people seem so friendly at first. Then they're always turning on us. I just don't get it. Hello. How's about putting us up for the night? <sighs> I'm afraid I can't. Why not? The truth is, I don't like the way you treated your last hostess. My friend Strawberry? Oh! <gasps> Neither do we. Okay, <laughs> we're so sorry, Sadie Bug and Katie Bug. We should have told you the truth. We made up excuses so we wouldn't have to host you. And that wasn't right. You mean, none of you like us? We like you, but we don't think you've used good manners as house guests. You can be funny, but you aren't very considerate. Hey, I figured it out. Don't feel badly, Strawberry. Everywhere else the twins have stayed, they've been kicked out by, by, why, you are the first host who didn't kick them out. <laughs> it's true. We got something to say. Oops. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Um, may we come in? Well, sure. Please do. <clears throat> okay. We'd like to say we're sorry. We thought everyone else was rude, but now we see it was always us. Yeah, you were like the perfect hostess. And you were the first person to be honest with us. And we were totally awful. Uh-huh, icky. Really, ew. Will you still teach us how to have good manners? Uh-huh, and be nice house guests? I never thought I'd see the day. I'll make you a deal. I'll teach you good manners. <laughs> if you also let me teach you how to sing. Oh, uh, deal. But good luck teaching us to sing. <laughs> yeah, we're pretty awful. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> Very best friends forever. We never let each other down. As long as we're together, things will always turn around. A city girl. to take our chance In the end it's always worth it So make your move and do your dance You might get lost but it's okay When you've got your friends you find your way back home Sweet oh, home Memories are made and fairies are grown Home sweet oh, home A place you can always call your own Strawberry shortcake. What are you up to today? I'm creating ways to make flowers different sizes, both very big and very small. Even if you don't have a whole lot of room, you can still have plenty of flowers in bloom. <laughs> That's a very clever idea. Strawberry? It certainly is a fine morning to enjoy the flowers. Oh, 
Well, I'm not just enjoying them. I'm going to make a new perfume with pieces of the petals. Oh, nice. Yeah, nice. But it's going to be part of my new spring fashion line. My very best ever. So I want it to be really super special. Well, with all these flowers to choose from, you should have something really special in no time. Goodbye. <laughs> today. But Quilting Club is your favorite. Is something wrong? Yeah. This. I promised the princess I'd make waiters for all the Berrykins for their annual jam stomping. Dozens and dozens of them. And I thought it would be easy because the Berrykins are so small. But it turns out making something so small is actually so hard. You see, to make them watertight, they need little itty bitty teensy weensy stitches. Too tiny for my sewing machine. And they're so hard to see. Oh dear. Oh, that's too bad. Poor Raspberry. Oh. Oh dear. Oh, Raspberry. Oh. If only those bitty barricans were the same size as us, at least then I could see what I'm doing. Six dozen to go. Oh no. I could make them in no time if they didn't have to be so, so, so little. Ah! Hey, you know, if the berrykins were bigger, not only would this job be easier, but bigger berrykins could stop that much more jam. What's up? Okay, okay, everybody. They're too big, but I have just a way to make them fit perfectly. Just hold still while I. Oh, nice. Uh, did I smell bad or something? Oh, no. Uh, patience. Ooh. Now try the waiters on. Ta-da! Wanna oh, try some of that? Why? <laughs> well, sure. Here you go. Great! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
perfume. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, I don't see anything. Too small for you to see, but not for me. Oh, so it wasn't just your growth spray and my perfume, but the sparkles too? It's a good thing you're so small, or we'd never have figured that out. Sparkles I can make, but I don't know how many it will take. This time for sure. works on a hat, but it might be best to try another test. Oh, we did it, we did it! Bake and Bloom and I found a way to shrink the bearkins back to normal! That's terrific! Great news! We knew you could do it! Way to go, Raspberry! Yay, Raspberry! We need lots of sparkles. to match the right kinds of sparkles. Let's try again. This time, blue goes first. Uh, you might want to sort of duck. to run the berry works. You know, you're right. Just show me what to do. I helped cause this problem. Now I'm gonna help fix it. I'll help too. Me too. Me too. Let's go, girls. All right. Raspberry, we're going to need more of your perfume. Uh, uh, but the princess needs me to help run the berry works. And besides, I'm much too small to reach any of the flowers. That's not so. Even though we're bitty, we, we can do big things! Especially if some of the berrykins reach the flowers for you. Oh, I just thought of something. While we're running the berry works, who's gonna run our shops? Fruit salad, coming up as soon as I figure out how to make it. Hmm. Uh. Where's my waffle? Soup has the tea on table five. Where's the waffle wars at table four? How do you make a waffle? Don't ask me, I've never cooked before. <laughs> Neither have I. Not in place. Look 
Look at all of these. What do we do? Where are they supposed to go? I know. We'll sort them by color. He's right. Dips on green. What a great idea. So, what do we do? Whatever the Barricans used to do. Come on. That way. I sure wish we could do it the way the Barricans do it. They make it look so easy. But it's not. to change you just to make things easier for me. Oh, I ended up making things awful for all of Berry Bitty City. And now we'll mix another batch to change you and your friends back to normal. Help you make more waiters. 